When Islamist insurgents fled the fabled Malian city of Timbuktu two years ago, they left a trail of destruction. The shrines and priceless manuscripts can never be replaced. But out of the ashes, the story of the 10-month occupation has been turned into a film. And Timbuktu is now up for an Oscar. Actress Ketli Noel believes the movie has an overwhelming power. When you watch the movie, even as an outsider, there's nobody who isn't moved by the images, by the colours, by the story. Above all, the force of the film comes from the horrible violence, without ever having to show it on screen. From Mauritania, Timbuktu. Timbuktu is nominated in the Oscar foreign language category, and comes with African films and actors slowly making inroads into Hollywood. The film shows the terrors of life under Islamic extremism, with cigarettes and music banned, and women forced to cover up. At the Cannes Film Festival last year, the director, who grew up in Mali, broke down as he tried to explain the impact of the occupation. I cry in the place of others, that's the thing, in the place of those who really lived, who really suffered, because after all we do take everything on, that's the responsibility that falls on me, on the cast. We're the ones who were brave enough to make the film, but those who really had the strength are the ones who lived through it. A French-led offensive drove the militants out in January 2013. But with regular violence still erupting in northern Mali, the director chose to shoot the film in Mauritania. Once upon a time, the ancient trading post of Timbuktu evoked images of faraway adventure. Now, it will also ever be linked with the horrific occupation and just maybe a small gold statuette. <laughs>